Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. Now let's begin the trial of who killed Nagito Komaeda. I got my Red Bull ready, I got my computer is all set up and everything's all ready. Wow. Damn Look right. at this small group. Looks like everyone's here. Huh? Damn it. Yeah. Make me the first. So yeah. Um. So it's going to happen again. A cruel conflict where we must doubt our friends. <laughs> but once we're through with this, we can go back, right? That Malakuma bastard said so, didn't he? He said this is the last class trial. Yeah, that's what makes me worried, Damn though. It. Well, we've been tricked every step of the way. There's no way I can believe that so easily. I can't believe Kazuichi of is. Not. Why can't you believe it? The guy who's making us do all this is the one who's saying it, you know? That's what makes him more suspicious. You know, right? I'll definitely survive. We can really go home after we deal with this class trial. I'll definitely find out who the killer is, no matter what, even if I pull out all the stops. Yeah, you... You do that. What the fuck? You. Why are you here? You haven't realized it yet? That feeling of wanting to leave this island, thinking like that is Monokuma's trap, you know? What are you getting at? Huh? Huh? What are you saying? Got it? There's no way Mama Kuma will end things here. He's planning something far worse. <sighs> oh, stop trying to jinx us! I'll beat you up. Damn right, stupid rabbits, just shut up. Monami's serious. We mustn't run away from despair. Huh? I finally realized after losing my powers. I realize that cursing your powerlessness of your fate accomplishes nothing. The possibility may be small, but as long as there's a possibility, you must face it. In order to become someone who can be proud of yourself. So I will fight. Huh? What's her deal? Um. I don't really know, but she seems different from before. <laughs> Maybe she read a self-help book? Wait! Her eyes, she looks so determined. You... I'm suddenly stuck on my teeth. Ah. Make sure you turn off Minimaru. It'd be annoying if you started talking during the trial. <laughs> Fine. But still... I understand what Mommy is saying, I think. Hmm. Let's get going to the last class trial. Yep. You're right. We need to fight as much as we can. No matter what hopeless truth awaits us in the end. Right. No matter what, we have to fight. To th tell you the truth, excuse me, I wasn't really a big fan of Red Bull when I first had it uh, about a year ago. Although I didn't mind myself some uh, Jaeger bombs, which is Red Bull with Jaeger Meister. Which, mean, which means uh, Master Hunter in German for all you guys out there. Holy crap, look at yeah. that. Got ourselves a little pyramid going on. Oh, shit, what was I going to do? Well? I was going to go on a tangent about something, but now I've but then I got the taste of Red Bull. I know it's odd. That's like one of those odd things I like to talk about during this, but it gives me something to talk about other than just reading what's on the screen. I mean, you guys can read on the screen. Unless, of course, you're blind, then first of all, I want to thank you for being able to find this video and watch or to listen to my voice and, of course, the voice of the video game. And um. second, uh, we are riding an elevator down into the last class trial. We are on chapter 5 of the game Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair that came out for the PlayStation Vita last year. Originally came out on the PlayStation Portable in Japan, uh, I think 2010? 
I'm not really sure. No, no. 2010 is it? Maybe 11. 2011. So this came out in 2014. So, yeah. All right. Enough Red Bull for now. Is that the light of hope or the light of despair? Um, hmm. Okay. Now that the chatterbox Nagito is gone, there are only six of you left. No, just fucking start this already. Hey! Hey, this is right, right? This is it, right? This is the last class trial, right? Okay. Yep. If Kazuichi can stop saying right all the time, and make sure you give it your all. All right. Didn't I tell you? He said it. This is the end. I don't. Why believe him now? Come on, Emmy. Now then. Let's get this trial started. This is the last class trial. Let's show some enthusiasm and kill each other. No. This is the fifth class trial. According to Monokuma, this is also the last class trial. That curtain is about to rise. Nagito Komaeda, the ultimate lucky student. When I first met him, I thought he was a nice guy. He came across as very sociable. <laughs> yeah, of course they had to show this one. But his true nature held such a determined thought process that was nothing like his over outward appearance. He said he believed in hope more than anything else. He said he was yearning for a powerful hope that can overcome any despair. He said he would even help despair just to prove that hope will never lose to despair. Hope, despair, despair, hope, hope, hope. He become a stepstone for hope. His way of thinking was completely screwed up. Yeah, but there was also times he saved us too. Someone like him was killed. Not killed, he was brutally killed. That was the end of him. And I have no idea at all who did it, but... There's no way we can end this without knowing. I'm surprised they didn't have the eye patch for Fuyuhiko on the theme there. That's kind of odd, but oh well. Everyone on this one is dead, besides Chiaki. That's just so weird that everyone is dead for Chiaki. This was like almost everyone on that thing was dead. Like everyone on that previous one was like dead in a class trial. The first one was obviously Biakia. Second one was Miharu. Third one Ibuki. And then the fourth one, except for this one, the fourth one had the, both the killer and the victim on that one. Except for this class, except leading up into this class trial, no one is dead on there that is involved with the case. No thank you, we already saved. Alright guys, set the skills, cause you got... Uh, no we don't need... Ex uh... There we go. Get rid of... Cool and compose and put in tranquility. I forgot... Oh yeah, I got that from... Uh... Take that off and put on cheat code. This timeline limit does not decrease, so that means we can keep... So now we won't get penalized for anything. And I bought Moonsault while off screen. It all just increases the speed, and I'm ready to begin the class trial. All rise! Now then, let's begin with also, a simple on the day that explanation I'm this is of the, the class day trial. That the During the out, class trial, you will present I'll explain your that more when I'm actually recording and when I'm actually done recording that for who one. Done it. If but you let's vote correctly, begin. Then only the black I look at the X on Gundam's. This is so much if different. You pick the wrong person. I'll punish everyone besides the black We know, we know. And that person will earn the right to leave this island. Oh my! Monami? My cute little Monami? sister? You're awfully quiet. What's happened to you? You've Monami? ascended the ladder of adulthood and reached the moon? Because you're a rabbit? Yes, though! Um. One more time! Monami? Jeez, 
How about this one? Um. This will be my final blow. Poor Monami. It's useless. Please stop. I feel bad for Monami. You're right. Now is not the time for me to horse around with Monami. Yeah. The class trial has started after all. <laughs> Excuse me. The victim this time right. is Nagito, who was attempting to reveal the traitor for everyone's sake. Yeah. Who in the world killed him? I'm so curious. Well, we'll if he find was that killed out. for trying to reveal the traitor, that traitor is obviously the killer. They were trying to shut Nagito up. True. No, that might not be it. Huh? Uh, huh? Are you trying to protect the traitor? They didn't call out when we were in danger. True. Wait. Don't tell me you're the traitor. Yeah, you must be. Don't say something so stupid. There's no way in hell I'm the traitor. But you keep accusing everyone of being the traitor, <laughs> so... Now that's more like it. Why don't you guys hurry and start arguing already? Yeah. And the killer who murdered Nagito is here, right? Are they the same person? Or not? Alrighty. Here we go. Alright. Come on. The killer didn't take Nagito's mouth to shut him up. I'm See? telling you, they were torturing him. The reason Nagito's body was See, no time humans. limits going down. <laughs> it's because the killer tortured Nagito. That's wrong. No, that's wrong. But Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape, so he wouldn't have been able to confess anything. Yeah, he wouldn't have been able to confess anything. If he was being tortured for information, they wouldn't have taped his mouth like that. That's so true. I'm prepared. Oh, are you? Are you really? Are you really, though? Ah, I just realized it. It's a trap. Oh, really? Trap? Stupid Hajime. You got caught in that trap. Uh -huh. I'm being called stupid by you. That's, like, a bigger insult than being called stupid by anyone else. Seriously. Like you said, if Nagito's mouth was taped shut, you'd obviously assume he couldn't talk, right? But that was the trap. He wanted to hide the fact that he got interrogated. Did they? I can't back down. I won't back down. Come on. Successu. Adventsu. He taped his mouth shut. How is he supposed to answer anything? Yeah. Pay attention, this is how it first the killer tortured Nagito and got information about the bomb's location. Mm -hmm. Then, after they killed him, Ron. Allow me to cut through those words. Because there's no blood under the tape. So, no. yeah. There's no doubt Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape before he was beat up. Mm -hmm. What did you say? Who cares about I had no idea tape? he was that close. Might as well settle this with rock, paper, scissors. Oh, uh, no. We don't need to play a game. It's clear the duct tape was on his mouth before the torture even began. Yep, it's super clear. Why do you always side with Hajime? Do you have a crush on him or something? Shut up. Were you in elementary school or something? You were with us when I peeled the duct tape off Nagito's mouth, right? Yeah, he was. So he should have known. Yeah, Nagito's face wasn't under the duct tape, remember? Uh huh. The blood on his face came from his arm wounds. Mm hmm. Which means the duct tape was on his face before his arms were even wounded. Yep. And obviously the blood came and when the spear hit him right in the gut. Wrinkles around his mouth. Mm hmm. He must have been struggling to open his mouth under the duct tape. Right. Perhaps the duct tape was used so we wouldn't be able to scream. That could be a possibility. Then it's like I said at the beginning. The tape wasn't for torture. It was to keep his mouth shut. Hmm. However, if they wanted to seal his mouth, they did not need to hurt him with such ferocity. Well... They probably had a deep grudge against Nagito. Probably. 
Then, are you saying the killer was trying to make him suffer? That's a possibility. If so, it's friggin' crazy. Did they go psycho or something? Possibly. No, they didn't just go crazy. Whoever did this must be one crafty bastard. Yeah. If not, they wouldn't have taken the time to set fire to the crime scene and destroy all the evidence. Hmm? The warehouse fire was for destroying evidence? We can't think of any other reason. Well, but who could have done that? Is that? True? Hmm. When the fire occurred, everyone in this room was gathered in front of the warehouse. Right. Yeah. And right after I opened the warehouse door, the flames started burning from the very back. Which means, it is plausible to think that nobody here set the fire. The killer isn't one of us. But that's not the case, huh? I mean, it's wishful thinking. Even if it was only a coincidence, the timing was just too perfect. It was. This Based is such a confusing case. But this is like the best kind of case, in my opinion, of this. any game of Don Gone Roomba. It's the I'm best case. It makes you really think. Like but we'll what? get there. We'll get there. I, I do not know that. But that has been the pattern before. That's our Miss Sonia. Uh, you have such an amazingly high intellect. Why do you always All agree right, with Miss Sonia? Do you have a crush on her or something, Kazuichi? Is that okay, Miss Sonia? Damn right it is. Okay. All right. We need to clear that up first. We do. Here we go. Mm -hmm. All right. The direct cause of the fire was mm -hmm. the oil lighter found at the crime scene, right? Um, the killer used some kind of setup. He lit the curtain on fire with the lighter. Um. Some kind of setup? Did they use the oil as an improvised fuse? Oil. They probably just threw the lighter. No. Based on the shape of that oil lighter, it can stand upright while the flame is lit. If they tipped over the lighter in some way, it could have ignited the curtain. All right, it went in. Some way? Maybe they used invisible thread. No. There should have been a way to tip it over with sound waves. No. Or perhaps opening the door caused... Yep. I agree with that. There's like, rarely we ever disagree with Sonya. We've always, I, I think we disagree with her a total of like two times. Fire. Every other time Just it's been agreeing with her. It was the wind pressure. A dust devil blown here from glorious Japan. No. No, not wind pressure. They probably used the Monokuma panels. Mm-hmm. A huge number of tipped over Monokuma panels were found at the crime scene, right? Yep. It looked like they were scattered everywhere, they but were. some were laying on top of each other in a single line. Just a Excuse single me. line leading from the warehouse door to the fire's origin. Mm-hmm. And as you can see, some of the Monokuma panels were burnt. Does that mean anything? Obviously, the ones closer to the fire. The killer probably arranged those Monokuma panels to create a domino effect. Mm-hmm. Obviously. Domino. Why else would they be lined up you like that? You mean those tiles kids play with by lining them up and tipping them over? Yeah. In place of those tiles, the killer used the Monokuma panel. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, so see? So when we right opened there. the warehouse door, the first panel That's toppled into the second. That's a great illustration. And from there, they fell like dominoes until they reached the lighter at the end. But wouldn't it be obvious that those big panels were falling over? Yeah. That's probably why they turned off the lights in the warehouse, so we wouldn't notice them. Oh, right. I forgot that it was dark in there. So the reason the warehouse I thought it was, was just dark naturally dark. Was to hide I didn't the know there were lights. Effect. Well, it's almost some sort of electricity in every building. Thing. There was something Sometimes. else the killer did to hide the domino effect, right? Mm hmm. Oh, right, 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 right. He used, he used, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? He used that MP3 player. I see. Because the music was playing. 
That way we you wouldn't. That's why about we. The MP3 player, if that right? wasn't playing, we would have heard it. That him blaring throughout the warehouse mm -hmm. masked the sound of the falling panels. Right. Again. You guys hear something? I'm not talking about the music. Oh, Akane could hear it. Why does Akane have like good smell and hearing? That's it. So the strange sound was actually the sound of the panels That's falling. Like a good thing she has like good hearing and good sense of smell. Thing, right? Looking back on it, it was also strange when Did we she, opened like, the door to the warehouse. Normally, maybe she doesn't have a sense of taste. Because usually, when you have like really enhanced senses, it's because you don't have the use of one of your other senses. Although it's kind of odd to not have taste and that enhancing your other senses. That's a weird thing, but she has her sight and she has feelings, I'm sure. Like, she can touch stuff and feel things, but I don't know. I'm just rambling. It's just a weird thing that I kind of noticed about Kanye. It's like, oh yeah, she has really good hearing and good sense of smell. But everything else is just... Uh, I don't know. Ah, so the door was being or maybe they're weaker. By a Monokuma panel. I can't remember if she's ever door, mentioned anything the about taste. Like, the falling panel was well, she does eat a lot. Lighter. Anyway, that, we're not talking about Akane's senses here. Yeah. We're talking about uh, the case of Nagi. Let's go for it. You don't look so sure. Well, it's kind of a hard At subject. At the time, Akane mentioned that she could barely open the door. Right. Because the panel was blocking it, right? Right. But the blocked doorway, there wasn't enough space for a person to fit through, right? Right. Is that a problem? Yes, it's a big it's a problem. It's a major problem. I mean, that door was the only entrance to the warehouse. Mm-hmm. The door was the only entrance to the warehouse. The killer could have left. I see. If the panel was so close to the door that mm -hmm. it could barely be opened, the killer inside the warehouse wouldn't be able to leave, right? Right. Now that you mention it. Does that mean they were hiding inside? I don't think so. Who? We were all outside the warehouse, you know. Based on the patterns up until now, I believe some kind of setup was used. Right. You don't have to think so hard. There's actually only one person who could have possibly done this. Only one person. You don't mean... It had to be. Who else? Who else is the only one that could have done it? Um, Hajime? What do you mean? The person who set up the Dalmo effect inside the warehouse. There's only one person who could have done that. Only one person. And that person? Nagito Komaeda. This is my answer. This X is dripping. That's why this as well. It was Nagito. Why'd you bring him up? He's the victim, you know. But he wasn't just the victim. Maybe. Maybe. Huh? Not just the victim. What does that mean? He was the victim. Exactly what it sounds and like. And he was the perpetrator too. Maybe. Are you saying this was a suicide? D d don't be stupid. But his what? body was covered in torture wounds. Or did you already forget? But are, are you saying those were all self-inflicted? Yep. Nagito might do something like that, don't you think? Uh huh. <laughs> That's not the issue. He was tied up, remember? He could easily have done he that himself. Creep like Nagito, it'd be impossible for him to tie up his own arms and legs. Would it? Yeah, you're right. Y yeah, as long as you understand. Okay. It seems we need to discuss how Nagito was able to tie himself up. N need to discuss? That's not necessary at all. No matter how much you think about it, it's clearly impossible. Well, let's look at it. If you think about it, but... I feel like I'm overlooking something.
All right. This one's going to be a tough one because... Okay, maybe not. To actually tie up your own arm... Boom. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. Right away. Right away. I love it. It's right away. It's the first one. Hold on a sec. Isn't that premise flawed? It is. What? I mean, it's no mistake that his arms and legs were... No, you're right. No, it shouldn't have been both of his arms. Mm-hmm. The rope on his right arm was completely burnt up. Based on that, you can't say he was tied up. Right. Now it's just burned by the fire. He should have been tied up before then. But... It burned but... because of the fire. Like you said, it might look like that. But there's something wrong that with was it. Part of the trap. There's concrete evidence that proves it. Mm -hmm. It's his right sleeve. Where is it? I see. I almost picked the wrong Take thing. Take a close look at his right sleeve. Even though the rope was burnt up, his sleeve wasn't burned at all. Don't you agree? And that seems kind of odd. A burn like reason, this, no matter so... how you think about it, is unnatural. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That rope was burned in advance so it would look like it was burned in the fire. Yep. Then Nagito's right arm wasn't tied up, right? He was able to move it freely, right? Yep. You're right, yeah, Chia. That should be the case. Chiaki. I almost called you something else. Hajime, that's awesome! I'll let you cop a feel if you want. Wait, what? A oh. You should okay. not give it away for free. Make sure they pay you first. Wait, what? That's definitely wrong. Yes, I agree. Fine. I just gotta get a Benjamin from him before I let him touch me, right? No, no, hold on. That's not what I meant. I'm talking about Nagi. Yeah, we're talking about the important issues here. I mean, even if his right hand wasn't tied up, the knife was still stabbed into it, you know? That's... true. It's impossible to stab a knife into your right hand with your right hand. Ah, that much is obvious. Well... You, you tricked me! Give me back that Benjamin! I not only did she try to charge me, now she wants the money back. What the heck? I, uh, hold on. There should be a way. There is a way. Hurry up and spill it! Okay, okay. If you're up and lame, I'll make you give back the Benjamin with 10,000% interest. I didn't even pay anything yet. And why, are you, why am I giving you American money? We're Japanese. We're just speaking English. We shouldn't be using English currency. American currency. Uh, but I mean, what? how else are they going to say it? They can't... I mean, Yen doesn't really have a face of people on it, so... It's understandable. Alrighty, let's get this on with. Even if Nagito's right hand with. was free... How could he stab his right hand with his right hand? With his right hand. If he threw the knife into the air... And let the knife fall... Okay. Could he stab his hand that way? Is he a throwing knife expert? Maybe he propped the knife somehow? Yep. I agree with that. First time Chiaki and I ever agree on something. I think. Actually, I think this is the first time I've ever, like, done anything with Chiaki besides copy a statement from her. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. That's why there was a big hole in the plushie's stomach. There was. He inserted the knife and handle into that there hole was to pop it up. Blood there. Then he slammed his hand onto it. Mm-hmm. If that's it, he had to place the plushie near him. And it also explains the mysterious blood on the plushie. Right. So the blood on the plushie came from Nagito after he stabbed the knife into his own right hand. Yep. I... I see. So that's the trick. But for so a moment, Kane. I seriously thought Monokuma died the or something. About that A bleeding plushie is super scary! It's got the same fear factor as a doll whose hair grows too long! Wait, what? After stabbing his hand, he no longer needed that. the plushie. So he cast it off toward the fire's origin point. Mm -hmm. He probably thought the fire would incinerate it and destroy the evidence. Maybe. So what do you think now, Fuyuhiko? I get what you're saying about the wound on his right hand, but there's still one huge problem. Okay. The spear. Basically, you're saying 
Nagito committed suicide by impaling himself with a spear, right? If you think about the order, getting killed by the spear should have been the last thing to happen to Nagito. Uh-huh. If that's true, how is that possible? He can't grab a spear with his right hand if a knife is stabbed into it and his left hand was all tied up. Oh, uh, okay. Then he probably took the spear first, and as he endured the pain, he stabbed the knife into his right hand. No. There is a limit to his constitution. Yeah, if and I don't think you could really by something so big survive and thick, that. You die instantly. Like that'd be hitting intestines and. Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't catch all that. Oh boy. Like I said, if you got penetrated by something so big and thick, you would die instantly. Oh God, Kazuichi. I get one more time. I need to record it. No. No. Bastard, you better cut it out. I agree. Like she said, in how did he make it this far? That's my question. How did Kazuichi make it this far? It'd be hard to have been like the first a knife stab into your right one. hand while your left hand But I digress. Up. I digress. So you're saying it's impossible? Well, maybe. But no matter what I think, I can't believe Nagito's death was caused by someone else. I, I also agree with that. <sighs> to think that one of us could kill someone with such cruelty. I could well, never believe that. We have to explore everything first, so... You say you can't believe it? <laughs> you just don't want to believe it, right? But that's Hold why on. you keep getting betrayed over and over again, right? Same goes for this time, too. You just shut, shut your mouth. It's against the rules to interfere with everyone. If you even think about doing anything, I have a plan of my own. Okay. Mamonami sassing me. But okay, can we just go back to the main said. topic here of Nagito's death? We've been betrayed death. over and over Enough again so far. Gallery. So this might also be the same. Calling this a suicide takes too much for granted, and it's too convenient. Agreed. And but... are you saying there is a killer among us, Kazuichi? Mm. Uh, of course, that doesn't include Miss Sonia and me. Of course. As Kazuichi said. It's true we've been constantly betrayed. But even if I'm betrayed again, I still want to believe in everyone. Yeah. Let's no matter how everyone. many times I may be betrayed, I still want to believe in everyone. Right. I also want to believe that there's no killer. But suicide is unimaginable. I agree. It's... Do you really think so? But you said it too. It'd be impossible for him to stab himself with a spear in his condition. Mm-hmm. I did say difficult, but I never said impossible. True. Wait, what? Huh? I feel that there's... Hmm? Some way he could have stabbed himself with that spear. Right. What kind of way? I don't know. Nice. You don't know. You don't know. It's impossible to figure out by myself. <laughs> so let's think about it together. That's how we made it this far up till now. Yep. Everyone working together. She's right. We've made it through several ordeals up till now by doing that. Then, even now. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. All righty. We're almost done with the first half. If you can believe that, we're almost done with the first half of the uh, class trial. How did Nagito stab himself with a spear? I don't know. Let's work together and think this through. <laughs> it's very touching. When Leave the Lord stabbed Nagito, has, wait, what? His right hand was covered by the knife, right? He was only able to move his left hand. Uh huh. But his left hand was also tied up. That's true. And that rules out his left hand. Um. No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. Cause if you remember, there's some blood on. on it. It's still too early to dismiss Ugh. the possibility. I just imagine this spear going through his stomach. Why? And impaling the I mean, knife on your own hand. hand it's like tied up, you know. Ugh. But there was something off about his left hand. Mm-hmm. The blood stain on the palm of his hand. Don't you think it looked somewhat strange? 
He only had blood on the lower area of his palm. Beyond that point, the blood stain suddenly cuts off, right? Yep. It traces around in his fingers. When the blood splattered, that's as far as it reached, right? No. That settles the description of that blood stain. But what it's not the, the only one? unnatural blood stain. The one on the back of his fingers. Look. See? There's blood on the back of his hand. Or back of his hand. Around whatever. the middle joints of his fingers. Like you said, it looks like an unnatural blood stain, but what's wrong with that? Everything. We might need to think and use our imaginations for a bit. If there's blood on his palm and the back of his hand, what was his left hand doing as the blood splattered? He was doing something. He was gripping something. I see. When the blood splattered, he was probably gripping with his left hand. Mm -hmm. He's gripping something, That's why all right. There's such a strange looking blood stain on his palm and the back of his hand. Yeah. Was he grabbing his front tail? Wait, what? <gasps> Perish the thought! He was obviously grabbing the spear! Uh, you're. Now that you mention it, what? compared to the rest of his body, the wounds on his left arm are pretty mild. That's true. He probably made his wounds mild on purpose. So he could keep his strength while he gripped the spear. Right. But, but even if he held the spear with his tied up left hand, it'd be impossible for him to stab himself. Uh-huh. That's the problem. Hey Chiaki, what do you think? Hmm. I knew it. I knew you were going to have your hood up. I want that hoodie of hers. Hey, so don't tell me you're getting sleepy. <laughs> At times like this. You should always strike from a good angle. Just like fixing an old TV. A different angle. Oh, huh? I got it. Maybe. Okay. Um, really? Keep using that catchphrase yeah. of yours, Chiaki, like maybe, I, I think. It's no mistake that Nagito was gripping the spear. I think. Okay. However, what's important is what section of the spear he was gripping. Right. He was holding the cord. I see. We don't Instead of the hand, don't hold back on Nagito must have been holding on to the cord. <laughs> there was a metal weight at the tip of the cord, but there were bloodstains on I that part too. Jobs. Plus, the joint between the weight and the cord had a bloodstain shape like it was cut off by something. Right. Isn't he the size did. of that cut-off section about the same size as a human fist? Yeah, it ah, looks like right. it. So this is the part Nagito was gripping, huh? Uh-huh. And then, the blood that was supposed to end up here... Mm -hmm. ...ended up getting on Nagito's left hand. Right. But why is it so important to know which part of the spear he was gripping? So we knew... You're not gonna know say how he ripped the tip it? of the cord, swung the spear around and stabbed himself, right? Yeah. Somewhat like that. That is where the clue to solve this mystery resides. Right, Chiaki? Alright. Let's think. I am sorry. Of course this mystery will not be solved that easily. Nope. Gotta take some Red Bull. One more swig. Because we are about to go. Hmm. 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 It seems we are stuck. Shall we have tea time? Okay. At a time like this. Alright. How about we stick to the plan to think one step at a time instead of expecting the answers all at once? That's a long That's plan, a long but I got it. Name. One step at a time? What does that mean? Let's focus on the spear first. Namely, where it was and how it was positioned just before it impaled Nagito. Alright. How it was positioned. There's only one real answer to that, obviously. Just before that. Could it be? Save the spear. And the fact that Nagito is holding the tip of the cord patch. I put those together and think about it. Should be able to figure out where the spear was and what state it was in before it stabbed Nagito. Alright, time to do a logic dive. With our new skill that we used. Alrighty. Go. I think that just. Yeah, I think I can jump higher now. Whoa. 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 
Okay. Oh. Uh, uh. Don't trick me. Don't trick me. It's tricky, 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 tricky. It's Where was the spear? This part. Yeah, well, it had to be above Nagito. Nowhere else. Awesome. All right, checkpoint. Oh, love, lovely. Oh, shit. God damn it. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, there we go. Oh, no, no, no. Staying over there. Staying over there. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, geez. oh, 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 okay. I hate these. I hate these things so much. Okay. Besides the spear, what else was above Nagito? Well, a ceiling girder. Duh. All right. All righty. Oh, 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 hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, oh, hey, oh, shit. Damn it. I, I'm doing so terrible at this. Get me away. Ooh. Okay, there we go, there we go. We're good. We're good. Okay, everything's good. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool. The Spears Cord. Spears Cord. I almost went to the wrong thing. Of course. Oh no. Woo. I mean, it was right beside the first one. It was blue. Mm hmm. Clearo. The spear impaled Nagito as he was laying face up. It must have been perpendicular to him just before that. Mm hmm. Perpendicular? In the middle of the air? If yeah. Nagito did that all by himself. Did he have some sort of ESP? That'd be no. awesome, but he would probably be awesome. used the ceiling girder directly above him. Yeah. Nagito probably slung the cord over the ceiling girder and using that as a support. He hoisted the spear directly above him. And if Nagito let go of the cord, the spear mm -hmm. would have fallen and impaled him while he was laying face up. Ugh. I noticed a slight mm -hmm. red streak on the ceiling girder. It probably got smeared there during the setup. During the setup? The blood on the huh. cord probably rubbed off on the ceiling girder as the spear was falling. Right, 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 right. So, how about it? Using this method, Nagito could have impaled himself with the spear. Right. Are you serious? He really committed suicide? Like that? He probably chose that spear so he could commit suicide like that. Probably. If someone else did this. There's no reason they go to all this trouble just to kill someone with a spear. Right. I agree. When I was investigating this case, I kept thinking over and over how strange it was. Super strange. Why did the killer use the knife and the spear so differently? Mm-hmm. So you're one. saying he needed to use that spear to pull off his trick. Uh-huh. Then this is for real? He yeah. really committed suicide? Right. Every single wound on his body, that was all him? Not just that, he did all that while he was gripping a spear? Damn. Ooh. That spear should not have stabbed Nagito until the very end. Uh-huh. Which means Nagito wounded himself while he was gripping that spear, right? Right. Did he put the duct tape on his mouth, too? Mm-hmm. He probably covered his own mouth so we wouldn't hear him screaming in pain. Yeah. Did Ugh. he need to go that far? That's probably. beyond crazy! Why would he do that to himself? Mm -hmm. He was probably trying to get us to make a mistake. Probably. By committing a suicide that looked like a murder, he was trying to steer us toward the wrong answer. Yeah. His goal was to get us all executed. Wow. That's why he stabbed himself over and over again. Did he want us to die that bad? That's messed up. It's seriously 
so messed up. Yeah, that's our Nagito. That is our Nagito. I was starting to feel a little sympathetic towards it. That's stupid of me. We only underestimate his capability of malice. His capacity of malice. And bodily malice that threatens us even after he's dead. That's the form his malice took. I had forgotten all about it until now. If he was here now, he'd probably be sneering at me. However, there is one thing I still do not understand. He said he would reveal the traitor, right? Whatever became of that? Right. He was probably planning to kill the traitor along with the rest of us. Wait a minute. So why did he not just do that in the first place? Because he didn't know. If he had no qualms with killing everyone, he did not have to cause a bomb scare to reveal the traitor. Right. I bet the bomb scare was part of the strategy behind this trick. He made us split up and search for a bomb so none of us would have an alibi. Uh-huh. He created a scenario where any of us could have killed him. Almost. He tried to make us scenario. doubt each other. It tried to hide the truth behind his suicide. Did he right. cause a bomb scare for that reason alone? He's a fucking bastard who killed himself for his delusions of grandeur. It's not that unthinkable. It isn't, but... You are right. I suppose. But stealth yeah. doesn't really help. It appears help. we've come to a conclusion. Bastard Nagito committed suicide. It was all done by him so we'd be executed. Hmm. Hmm. That should be okay, right? Right? What? You're not satisfied yet? Neither am I. No, I agree that Nagito killed himself, but I feel like there's something that doesn't make sense. Okay. It's probably just my imagination. No, we should explore that. I mean, I sort of understand what she's talking about. I don't think it's a mistake to assume that Nagito committed suicide, but... Why do I feel so uneasy about it? Is it because we don't know who the traitor is, or...? So what are you gonna do? Is it okay to proceed with the voting time? What are you thinking, Connie? Well, yeah, Connie? no doubt Nagito's death was a suicide. Oh well. I guess my gut is wrong sometimes. You are right. Mm. It is not as though we can draw any other conclusion. Hold on. Then it's okay to end it here, huh? That means we're done with this last class trial and we can leave this island, right? Mm. It's okay to reach such a happy ending, right? Hold on. Then it's okay? It's okay to say, you've decided on the killer? Understood. Then voting time. No, hold on a sec. Yeah, hold on. Uh, hold on? Why? <sighs> Sorry, just a little more. I want you guys to wait just a little more. Just a little more, that's all. I can't help but feel we like... We didn't even have our intermission time something yet. we overlooked. <laughs> like who the traitor is? No. But the issue here is who killed Nagito, right? Even if we identify the traitor, the conclusion won't change. That's Maybe. true, but... The mystery isn't just about who the traitor is. Hmm. No matter how you look at it, Nagito's death is a suicide. But I'm a little worried, you know? I'm worried about starting the voting time while there's still a mystery. Me too. Hey, what do you mean it's not about who the traitor is? What kind of mystery is left? A big There's one. just one thing that doesn't make sense, and it relates to Nagito's death. Okay. Plus, it's something even Nagito couldn't influence. He couldn't even tamper with the evidence for it. Couldn't? It's something that even he couldn't have messed with. You're gonna keep going? Here, I thought we were finally finished. Hmm. Piece of evidence that even he couldn't mess with. The Monokuma file. I see. The first piece of evidence. Is it about? The oh, I the lost health during logic times. Like where did I lose health at? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Huh? There was something suspicious in the Monokuma file. Mm-hmm. Let's just read over it again. 
The victim Nagito Kamaeda. The body was discovered inside a warehouse near the Monokum plushie factory. The estimate of time of death is believed to be noon sharp. Not only is there a spear stabbed in his stomach, there are multiple stab wounds on each of his thighs. Furthermore, there is a laceration on his left arm and a knife impaled through his right hand. It doesn't directly say something. What is hidden in the room? The quote unquote improved hangman's gambit. It's the one thing. Okay, hold on. Oh shit. Okay, hold on. Damn it! Oh, that this is the worst one. I'm going to get such a little point for this one, but I don't give a shit. Cause of death. Holy shit. In this particular case, is Monokuma file. There's no specific cause of death. Mhm. Mm I mean, it mentions the spear, but does it say that's Isn't what killed that weird? him? Until now. The files always specified the cause of death, but the cause of death is obvious, is it not? Mm. The spear in Nagito's stomach. It is obvious just by looking at it that it was the cause of death. Well, maybe it's not included if it's not important enough to write about. It must be important. Well, Monokuma, I cleared the fix! There he goes again! I'm so a pop that I have nothing to say. But you just but said even something. during Gundam's case, and before during Nikon's case, the thing he purposely omitted from the Monokuma file was always the most important mystery in the case. Right. Are you saying that applies this time too? Mm-hmm. Oh, hold, hold on a sec. Then are you saying there's more to Nagito's death? I agree. Are you suggesting again that his death wasn't a suicide? You guys were the ones who said it was a suicide in the first place. We never said it was suicide. We just no, said how it looked I like. I don't think it's a mistake to call Nagito's death a suicide, but... But it's not just a suicide. Nope. Come to think of it. Hmm? Did Nagito really, really commit suicide just to get us all killed? Right. Are you sticking up for him? No. That's not what I meant. I mean it in a bad sense. Bad sense? I just remembered that his malice always defied our expectations. And that concerns me. Mm-hmm. That example, concerns me deeply. Would that malice just end here? Huh? Did Nagito's malice drive him to risk his life for a truth we'd reach this easily? Yeah. I mean, this is Nagito we're talking about, you know? He would not have something so easily happen for <laughs> us. How interesting! You sure do believe in Nagito, huh? Because you believe in his malice, you continue to suspect his malice. I see. I guess that's what passes for friendship these days. What friendship? What should we do, you guys? Should we proceed with the vote? No, I don't think so. I think we should keep going until everyone is satisfied. Even if it's just to be safe. I agree. You're right. We only get one chance to vote, after all. Mm-hmm. Just to be safe, huh? There's nothing wrong with it. Guess I have no choice. 
that's the case, I'll do my best to go along with it. All right. This is friggin' annoying. Oh, shut up. But if you guys say you're doing it, there's no way I'm gonna back out. Hey, Monokuma, you heard us. The voting's gonna have to wait. Okay. We've come this far. Let's work hard till the very end. If we work together, everything should be all right. That's mm. what I believe. Me too. Oh, splendid! You guys are so splendid right now. That's right. If all your hopes are united, no despair can shake you. If all your hopes are united, no despair can shake you, huh? Now that I think about it, Nagito said the same thing. Absolute hope that I can overcome any despair. He said he was yearning for that. Then, this situation we're in might be the thing Nag that Nagito wanted all along. No, never mind. I'm probably overthinking. <laughs> Monokuma. Trial suspended. <laughs> hey! No, no! Man, my heart was racing like crazy when I thought the voting time was gonna start, but. Well, if you think about it rationally, there's no way it was gonna happen. We haven't done this bit yet. Most of the players probably figured that out too. You're the only one who didn't know. Isn't that right, Monami? Hey, how much longer are you planning to sulk? Let's get along like we always do. Alright, you passed. Friendship is measured by how long you can stand the sun when you're all alone with someone else. <laughs> so, Mommy and I are the bestest of friends. Don't say such stupid things. I, I hate you so much right now. Enough, why do I have to be hated that much? Besides the fact that you snap at me like that, I don't trust you at all. Not even a teensy tiny one millimeter bit. How sad. Distrust in your friends is so much more shameful than being betrayed by that friend, you know? We aren't even friends in the first place. Then as your older brother, let me say this. You're not even my brother. It's sad to live a life without friendship. That's even sadder than watching a high school rom-com full of guys. Wait, what? Well, there may be some demands for that. Wait, what? I fell for it. I totally took the mandate. Wait, what? These things get weirder, weirder and weirder by the second. Or by the trial, is more accurate to say. Anyway, that's going to do it for this part of Let's Play Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. We're halfway through with this trial, and we're almost done with the game in general. We'll be done with this in no time. See you guys in the next part.